everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a great day so far today I wanted to show you some of my favorite products in March and I had actually filmed a video for February favorites and I should have gone back and looked and see or looked to see what I put in that video I filmed it I don't think I edited it I never got around to editing it and putting it up until like halfway through February or like almost the end and I thought I nah, forget it I'm just gonna skip it but um I'll have to go back and look and see what products I liked in February and maybe add them into next month's uh, video to see if those are products that I'm still loving and if there's anything that I really want you guys to know about today I'm gonna tell you about some of the products I've been loving during March some are beauty products there's definitely a big flop for me anyways and then one of them is not related to beauty at all I just had to share about it so I do try to do these monthly videos or these monthly favorites videos each month so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss out on that each month and I hope you guys enjoy let's get started so I only have one flop today and it's one that I'm very surprised about and so I'm just gonna jump in with the negativity first but it is this Becca let's see under eye brightening concealer and I've used it a few times and I definitely it's possible that I could play around with it a little bit more to see if I like it more but I think I've tried putting this on with a brush and I've just used it under my eyes because it is like it said an under eye brightening concealer I love Becca products so I thought this is gonna be so great it's gonna be highlighting and brightening and you know just beautiful under the eyes I really had high hopes for it um, and I don't know if it's something that would be better on less mature skin as mine which I mean I'm 32 I don't have like terrible wrinkles under there I definitely have some fine lines coming up you know and things like that but it's I'm not sure it just gets really cakey under my eyes I put it on with a brush under there the last time I did it with my fingers and I was hoping it would just kind of warm it up and I just kind of tapped it under made sure it kind of blended in the where I would normally put my concealer and then I do I did top it off with powder and it was so cakey it made me look 10 years older I mean it was so like I could just barely smile and it was just so cakey and just so many lines under my eyes it was awful so I think I've given this enough tries I think I'm gonna pass this along maybe to my sister to see if she wants to try it and see if maybe she has better luck with it but it just did not work for me at all a new product that I have been loving this month on the other hand though which like I said the rest are my favorites is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette I love this palette I'm not gonna do a swatch for you I'm sure you've seen 10 million videos about this this palette but oh my goodness of course I'm sure you've heard everybody say oh, it smells so good it, it's just a really sweet kind of tart smell and I love it so much I love how the Too Faced palettes smell um, the it blends well I can get several different beautiful looks from this I'm just loving it I I love and I thought this was kind of like a navy color I don't know it's more it is kind of purpley maybe this is like a weird color blind moment coming out because sometimes this looks kind of navy on my eyes and it's been really pretty um it looks kind of more purple though in the swatch of course but it's just so pretty that was just one little bitty you know dipping my finger in there swatch it's so beautiful um there's plenty of mattes plenty of just neutral colors versus also lots of different looks that you can get i love this green color uh, right here just it's just beautiful i'm really i'm really I'm happy that I got this palette and definitely have no regrets because I'm loving this okay I think I talked about this in a different video I not sure which subscription I got this in I don't think it was um, boxy charm I don't think so maybe Birchbox for, or Ipsy I can't remember but I got this in one of my subscriptions it's Ciate London's gelology top coat <clears throat> I don't know if you can see but um, I just use it as just a regular old top coat for nail polish it has really um, it I think it does give my nail polish more life what I like about it is the brush it's just a 
kind of a wide flat brush just a thin wide flat brush it's just like a couple of strokes and it's all on your nails I don't know I just like that brush now I haven't noticed that it helps like a quick dry and it doesn't claim I don't see anything on here about claiming to be a quick dry top coat um so I do love that about my other top coat I can't remember the name of it I've talked about it in some other videos um because that is a quick dry top coat and I love that I love that I can put that on top and then it's just like so such a short time and I can just rub my fingers over my nails and they're all dry so I don't notice that about this but I do notice that it makes my nail polish last longer so I definitely like this top coat now right after Christmas time I went to Target and they had some little um, beauty gift sets that were half off they I got some elf products I can't I think I talked about those in a video I think I talked about the Real Techniques sponge set that I got. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but it came with, it was so cheap because it was half off. It was already a good deal for all these sponges that you got. And then it was half off of that after Christmas. So such a good deal. And I had really been wanting to try these Real Techniques sponges to compare to my Beauty Blender. Because, you know, Beauty Blenders are awesome. Um, but they're, I think, what are they, $20? Um, and if you can find a dupe for that, why not? So I really didn't think that I would like this as much as my Beauty Blender, but I haven't used my Beauty Blender at all since I got these. Um, my two favorites, actually I think these are the only two that I've tried so far from that set, and this one's still pretty damp from me putting on makeup this morning, so it's it's definitely showing a little bit bigger and it's definitely dirty, but um, I like this sponge for under my eyes, like right in the corner to really get it up in there and get all those dark circles co covered. So I really love this little sponge. I just kind of use it as that finishing touch in the corner. And then this, of course, under my eyes, all over my face. I like the flat corner. Um, I just love these. I was really impressed with them. I think they're just as good as beauty blenders. So if you see these, if you want to try them, I think they're amazing. They wash nicely. I think I've washed this one once. Um, and I haven't used it again since then because I have another one that came in this set and I've been using that one, washing it and using it a little bit more often. And so far they're holding up through their washes. They're doing really well. I know my sister, I think, um, told me that her Real Techniques tends to split pretty quickly, um, but mine hasn't so far. So I'm hoping that it holds up for the long run. And I don't, I don't know how much these are um, normally. I'm not sure I'd have to look that up, but I think you get two. And I think the price maybe around $14. I think it's still cheaper getting two than it is for one beauty blender. So if you've been wondering about it, I say go for it. I say give it a try because I love these Real Techniques sponges. All right, so moving on to products that I've been using in the bathroom. This is a new shaving cream that I got a long time. I mean, I've had this for a while, and I don't think I've talked about this in one of my favorites videos. This may have been one of the products that I talked about my in my February favorites that I never did edit and get up there. Um, if I've already talked about this in another one, though, just ignore this, sorry. <laughs> but um, I, I just wanted to make sure that I told you guys about it because I love this shaving cream. I've actually not used shaving cream for a long time. I just use my conditioner or I'll get a cheap conditioner so I don't use my more higher end conditioner that I want for my hair. But, you know, so I'll just use conditioner to shave my legs, which is a great, a great tip. It works just as good, if not better, than shaving cream in my opinion. And you already have it in your shower. So, it's just, it's a lot easier. But I decided to try this. I love how this bottle is plastic. I love how it doesn't have that silver ring on the bottom like a lot of shaving creams do. So then it leaves rust, like a little rust circle in your shower. I hate that. And so this, it's just a nice little bottle. It's a, This is the vanilla smell. It's the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream. It says 24 hours of deep moisture, natural shea butter and aloe nourishes and softens skin. And this is Vanilla Bliss. I kind of wish I would have tried the, um, I can't remember, I think there's like a tropical scent. I may get that next, maybe for spring. Um, but I, I'm like done to here. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, and it really does leave your legs feeling really moisturized. So I, that's why I got that for this winter to really use during the winter. It doesn't take much, like one pump per leg. It's really awesome. So I really, I recommend that. It's really awesome. If you see it out there, give it a try. Okay, so when we were at Disney World, I think I mentioned this in another video, that I brought a sample of a face wash with me. One that I had gotten in Birchbox or Ipsy. And it was a great face wash. It was some rose cleanser but it was a mild cleanser and I didn't think about that before when I was packing that that Estee Lauder foundation that I wear which I didn't wear the whole time there 
Um, in fact, when we went to Disney World, I just used my It Cosmetics, the CC cream, because it has the SPF in it. And I think I mixed it with the uh, Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer. But when we were at the parks, I was wearing the Estee Lauder foundation, and you need a deep cleanser to get that stuff off, or it just doesn't it's like you haven't even washed your face and that rose cleanser was not doing anything for me so i went to target and i got i wanted to get what i usually use at home which is the neutrogena deep cleansing face wash it's like the orange one in the pump but i saw this and i thought well I'm, since i'm already since i'm buying something i'm just going to try something a little different this is the cream cleanser which of course during winter when my face is a little bit drier this one's more moisturizing and it's, it is oil free and I love this. I've used a good chunk of it for just having it since we went to Disney World. Um, but it's, it gives you like a little cooling sensation on your face. It is more, like I said, of a cream. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's like a, you know, like a cream cleanser instead of, um, it's a thicker cleanser. I don't know. It's a cream cleanser. Um, but it does. I don't know if it's got something in here. It, But whatever is in, it says menthol is in here. So that may be what gives you that cooling sensation. It feels so nice. And it does get that Estee Lauder foundation right off. Just like the other Neutrogena Deep Cleanser or the Deep Clean face face cleanser the, the one in the orange with the pump um those are the cleansers that i use to get that hard stuck on makeup i can wash my face with this and i don't do anything special i mean i make sure i rub it in really well but then i can come out of the shower or out you know after my standing at the sink wherever i'm at and i can go back over my face with some micellar water and on a little cotton pad and it's it's clean versus that mild cleanser it was like completely it didn't even look like i had washed my face so if you're looking for a deep cleanser this is an ex or a, not an inexpensive drugstore option that works so well so i really really recommend this okay last beauty product i'll talk about um this is something that i may be doing a video about all of these products that i have right now that i've been trying um but i love this product. I've loved this for a while. I think I've talked about this in the past. Um, but I had a sample size of this and was fortunate enough to get the bigger size and I love it. It's the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. And what I'll do, I didn't use it today, of course, but um, I was in a hurry today to get ready, but I'll curl my hair and then I'll kind of push my hair up, spray it at the roots a little, just a little, kind of give it a little bit more texture and it just adds so much more volume. Um, anything that you need for texturizing spray, just if you're ever trying to do a style in your hair where your hair needs more texture, but this stuff smells so good. All the Oribe products smell so good. I love it. And it stays in your hair all day. The smell does, and it just helps give your hair volume all day long. And I love it. It is pricey. There are definitely some other texturizing sprays out there at the drugstore. I just had a fortunate thing happen to where I got this product and I'm excited about it and I love it. Although there were some other Oribe products that I tried that I wasn't so thrilled about. So I may do a video about those, about which ones I loved and which ones I was so shocked at how much I did not like. So be watching out for that video. Hey, okay, last product. This is not a beauty product, so if you don't care about it, <laughs> it's a book. I just, I have to share this because for almost a year I have been reading this series of books and it's just like a mini obsession in my life. I love it so much. I'm on the last of the series right now and it's taken me, I have spent almost a year reading these and I could have read them all in a couple months, but it was some of those books that you just want to hang on and just keep the experience going for a while because you know how depressing it is finishing a, a series of a book or a show that you're loving and you've been binge watching forever and it's just like your world is over when it it's ending. Not really, that's terrible, but anyway, it is Diana Gabaldon's, um, uh, Outlander. It's Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series. And this is the, I think the eighth one. I think it's the eighth one. She's writing the ninth. I think it's coming out on June 27th. I think I need to be counting down the days, <laughs> but um, I'm about this far into it so far. Like I said, I'm trying to take my time, but 
this book, it, and you know, this is the eighth book and they're all about this big and you would think there's no way that an author can keep these books going to where you're like, I can't put her down. But she does like big time. I love, love, love. So if you're looking for a good book, I'll show you the first one. This is, and this is the one, you know, it's a show on stars too. It's a favorite show too. But um, yeah, check this, check these books out. If you're like, oh, I'm just, you know, wondering what kind of book to read. It's a, it's so hard to explain, but well, it's really not that hard to explain. It's, it's based in Scotland. I mean, it's kind of based in Scotland and there's a lady that kind of time travels. It's, it sounds, I don't know. It sounds kind of silly, but if you read it, oh my goodness. And it's a romance story and, and it's like, it's really nice. Like it's a bunch of history in there. I don't know. It's really, it's just captivating and amazing. And I love it. So I had to share, but all right. So that does it. So those are my March favorites. I'm so excited that it's spring. I cannot wait for the warmer weather. And you guys let me know what some of your favorites are, especially now that we're coming up on spring. I love starting to think of just changing your look from those warmer winter colors to the more cooler and just like vivid spring colors. So I'm excited about that. And I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue watching my videos. Thanks so much again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.